Okay, I'm going to show you how to do some simultaneous equations when both equations are in y equals mx plus c form. That means you're given the gradient and the y-intercept. Now when you're doing that, you're actually finding the point of intersection, which is x, y. That, that's the solution. Okay, so all the examples I'm doing, we're going to be finding out the value of x and the value of y. And those are in gradient intercept form. So here's, here are the steps how to do it. First step is we're going to set each equation equal to each other and solve for x. Since both equations are equal to y, we can set it up this way. Now, the second step, after we do that, the second step is going to be once we have that value of x, we're going to substitute that value of x into either equation to solve for y. So I've got two equations to choose from, and it doesn't matter. So let's look at this first example. y equals 2x minus 1, and y equals 1 half x plus 2. I set, I'm going to set the equations equal to each other, and I'll say 2x minus 1 equals 1 half x plus 2. They both equal y, so I can set those. Now I'm going to do that thing I told you about earlier, where I'm going to swap these two terms to the opposite sides of the equation and change their sign. So this minus 1 will go to the other side and become plus 1, and that 1 half x will become a negative 1 half x, like this equals... That's 1 plus 2. Okay, how does that look? Looks okay. Collect like terms on this side. 2x minus 1 half x. Okay, um, what does that give me? 1.5x, and that equals 1 plus 2 is 3. To solve for x now, I divide by the coefficient. So that means x equals 3 divided by 1.5. 1 1.5. And so that means the value of x is 2. That's half my solution. So now I take that 2 and substitute it into either equation. I think I'll substitute it into one that doesn't have a fraction, which is that one. y equals 2x minus 1. So y equals 2. Now the value of x is 2. 2 times 2 minus 1 means y equals 4 minus 1. So y equals 3. That is my solution, which is my point of intersection x equals 2, y equals 3. That is where those two lines would come together. Now write it like 2, comma, 3. That's an ordered pair. Box it up, highlight it, it's good. Let's look at another example. y equals 4x and y equals negative 3x plus 7. Set these two expressions equal to each other. 4x equals negative 3x plus 7. Okay, now I just need to shift that negative 3x over. I don't need to shift the 4x over because it's already over on the left side. I want the x's on one side. So 4x plus 3x equals 7. Collect like terms here. 4x plus 3x, what does that give me? That gives me 7x equals 7. Now x equals 7 divided by the coefficient, which is 1. Now I'm going to take that 1 and I think I'll substitute it into the first equation right there. That's a bit easier. So y equals 4 times 1, which is 4. Okay, so my point of intersection for those two lines is 1, 4. Next example, fractions. It's okay. Life's not perfect. So set the two expressions equal to each other first, leaving out the y, of course. Negative 3 quarters x minus 8. Now I'm going to swap those two terms around, changing their signs. So the negative 3 quarters x will become positive, and the negative 6 will become positive on the other side. Negative 1 quarter x plus 3 quarter x equals 6 minus 8. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Simplify on the left side. Negative 1 quarter plus 3 quarter. Hmm, okay. What is that? I know what that is. It's 1 half x equals... 6 minus 8 is negative 2. So to solve for x, I'm going to say negative 2 divided by that 1 half, and that gives me negative 4. Negative 4 is, that's half my solution. Now I take that and substitute it into any equation I want. They both have fractions. doesn't matter. I'll put it into that one, and I'll find my value of y. y equals negative 1 quarter in brackets, negative 4, minus 6. Uh, negative 1 quarter times negative 4 is 1. 
and then 1 minus that 6 minus 6. That means y is negative 5. Of course it is. Circle that, check everything, okay. So my point of intersection for that is negative 4, negative 5. Now what I want to look at is just what would these look like on a graph? This second equation here. There's the graph of y equals 4x, there's y equals negative 3x plus 7, there's my point of intersection, 1, 4. Of course. What about that guy? I've got my two lines here, and on that last example, that's my point of intersection, negative 4, negative 5. Of course. So we're doing this without graphing it. We're doing it by just solving algebra because it could be quicker. Okay? Now we're going to try some on your own. Good luck. Thanks for watching.